Huh? Hello again, Rudy! Oh my god, what the hell are you? Come on, we've been through this already. Don't tell me you don't remember me. Here, this should ring a bell. Oh, I'm a dumb little kid and I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Uh, Wait, Fergus? So it wasn't just a dream all those years ago? <laughs> nope, but I'm flattered to think you dream about me. You're so much bigger than the last time. Yeah, well, so are you. <laughs> nice hamster on your lip, by the way. Well, the joke's on you, Fergus. You were wrong. I did get into art school. Yeah, bravo. That may be true. But your self-doubt still has a hold on you. You don't like your own art. You're uncertain about your future. What, what is happening? <laughs> What's the matter, Rudy? Never had a panic attack before? Oh, of course. Why are you doing this, Fergus? Well, if you won't listen to me when I'm inside your head, I have to get your attention some other way. You're a failure, Rudy, and you'll never be successful. Now, how do you feel about that? Well, honestly, Fergus, that's fine. What? what? Look, I hear you, and I do feel like a failure sometimes, but I just don't get anything from beating myself up like that. But, but don't you see how scary I am? I mean, look at this. Why aren't you freaking out? I just don't feel like listening to you anymore, okay? You're evil. What? You don't mean that. I'm, I'm not evil, you know. I guess I just have my own way of protecting you from taking unnecessary risks. You turn into a giant demon trying to kill me. Look, nobody's perfect. I may have taken it a bit far. But my point is, I never meant to hurt you. A lot. And I guess I'm sorry. Sort of. So what do you say, old pal? Friends? Yeah, I deserve that. Now we're even. Well, I'm glad we're on good terms, Rudy. I'll leave you to it for now. If you need me, you know where to find me. Inside your head! <laughs> Bye. <sighs> yeah, I would have used different colors. Oh, come on.